Previously on Let's Play Manhunt 2. What's going on? Do you remember who you were, Danny? No. You believed we could take a normal individual and implant a second personality. Our intention was to create a perfect weapon. A killer with no conscience or memory. Does he sound familiar, Danny? Leo. Daniel. You will not remember anything before this moment. You will not remember us being here. You will never speak to Leo again. I can't do this. I can't just dump Leo, Dr. White. He saved my life. Your only way out of this is to focus on the past. I still don't understand. What is all this stuff? Don't let your guilt drag you into oblivion. Your only chance to be free is to rid your mind of Leo once and for all. Time to say goodnight, Danny. Your mind's only got room for one of us. But don't worry, I'll take care of business from now on. It's time to get you out of my head, once and for all. There's only room in my head for one serial killer, and that's gonna be me. So, uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final stage. Well, actually, there's one more level coming. It's kind of a bonus level, kind of a offers a uh, an alternate ending, if you will. But uh, this is the final canon stage of the game. Because I, I know all you guys really care about Manhunt uh, canon. Well, Leo here has three units of health. And uh, a level one execution will take out one unit of health. A level two will take two out. And a level three will take all three out. Now, what we want to do is we want to get rid of all three units of health so we can pick up that guy's uh, crowbar, if you will because we needed to advance. Um, this stage is, uh, pretty interesting, but... I think, uh... I think Manhunt 2 could have been greatly improved if they just tightened up the, the pathfinding, the AI for the now characters. Now the battle is where it all started. Because, In uh... A level like this... <laughs> And, uh, I gotta warn you ahead of time, I didn't. Stay with it, Jenna. Don't let Leo fight his way in. <laughs> so, if, if, he, he, if he hadn't been completely killed, all three units of health gone, then he wouldn't have dropped the sweet crowbar. Anyway, like I was saying, um, right, I didn't load the beta files to this level, and because I accidentally permanently deleted a global audio file, for the entire game, the only way for me to to to, uh, to fix that is to download the game again and, and install it again, which I'm just not willing to do at this point. Um, so, you know, the the execution is going to be a little off. That's okay because you know we're almost done, and uh, uh, part of this game is of course shooting because you know when when you think of Manhunt 2, you think about shooting. Time to face up to all the things you've done, Danny. Remember these guys? You killed them all, Danny. Oh, okay. So, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't remember ever killing, uh, these weird zipper face motherfuckers, but hey. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd want to see my loved ones buried like that. Um, FYI, you can actually get a bit of alternate dialogue if you sneak past the the next few guys in this level, but that's a pain in the ass. Oh, really? Another one of these things? Alright. Oh, God. That guy's pretty creepy, right? Alright, that's it. Turn around for me, please. 
and the executions are out of sync because I didn't load them properly. Actually, I uh, I tried loading the beta files the first time, but uh, actually there was a segment at the very end of the game that, uh, well, made it very hard to finish uh, because the guns that we get later on are all meleeed versions. And because they're meleeed versions, they uh, they weren't effective at taking on uh, multiple unarmed targets. You'll see what I mean later on. That comes. Oh, this guy's got red eyes. That's pretty cool. It's kind of like the Matrix, right? Matrix meets like horror movie. Ah, oh, that'll be interesting, right? A, a Matrix remake that's like a horror movie, huh? Seriously? Alright. Don't block, you bastard. There. Haha. <laughs> I like that. Alright. Their bodies may disappear, but they leave blood. Oh, I better get a shovel, too. There we go. Now, if he was run ahead here. Now, this will become a little more apparent later on, but I think, I think, uh, this is the graveyard where his, uh, wife is buried, I guess. And of course, because it's outside, there's lots of gravel around, it makes it hard to sneak up on people. Oh, shit. Leo's brainwaves are erratic, sloppy. <sighs> Really? You don't say. A, a serial killer's brainwaves are erratic, huh? And I understand this is probably a little boring to watch, but ow. This is what we call dissociative identity disorder in its most brutal form. I don't really think this is disassociative identity disorder. I mean, I'm not... I'm not a psychiatrist, obviously, because I'm making videos for the internet where I talk in video games, but I mean I think this is something else. Nice uh okay. Um let's go through here. Danny Lamb, the best killing machine the project ever had. Why thank you very much, Leo. I'm flattered. How about a visit from some old friends? Oh that sounds nice. You remember what you did to these guys, don't you? Uh, which guys? Uh oh I was continuing our research, Daniel. I didn't deserve to die. There's still work to be done. Ugh. This graveyard is terrible. I mean, whoever the groundskeeper is deserves to be fired. <laughs> there was just that emaciated corpse lying in a open grave. It couldn't have been more than a foot deep, too. So, over here is Michael. He's trying to make his way over here, but the pathfinding is so shitty in Manhunt 2, he can't manage to do it. Okay, there we go. Gotta be careful of this guy, because he's carrying the, uh... The uh, flare gun. There we go. There. Fuck you, buddy. That was easy. Let's move on, shall we? Alright. So, you can sneak past those guys, too, if you really want. I don't know why you'd want to do it, but there, there you go. There just aren't really enough tools for sneaking around in Manhunt 2. I mean, you can sneak up on people, fine, but sneaking around them, not that easy. Let's continue. Alright, so here's probably... Here are some more of your victims to chew on! Okay, thanks, Leo. Uh, this is probably uh, one of the most dangerous rooms in the level, maybe the game, because it's close quarters and you got a bunch of people with assault rifles while you yourself have no guns to start out with. 
Um, they're nice enough, though, to... Oh, shit. Uh -oh. The two sides of his mind are destroying his body. Uh-oh. I'm not sure the heart can withstand the arterial pressure much longer. Oh, shit. Yeah, that happens a lot in this level. This guy's doing a little dance. Dancing on my body. Alright, let's try it again. <clears throat> God, this level's such a pain in the ass. This level's such a pain in the ass. This level's such a pain in the ass. Alright. Hide in here. Now no one can see us. Seriously, dude? Okay. Oh, really? Again? God damn it. Ah. Alright. Let's try that one more time. Uh oh. I don't know. I might cut out this part until I'm successful because. Seriously, dude? Wow. Can't believe we get fucked up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut out this, uh, this part here until I'm successful. I'll see you, I'll see you, uh, when I see you. I wonder if this guy's gonna get tired. Oh, he got bored. Alright. Alright, finally. Ugh, made it through. Oh shit. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, this probably gotta be my catchphrase or something, right? Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, pal. Ugh, look at that body. <laughs> Looks like they buried him with his winter coat, huh? Alright, so this ammo is going to be pretty useful. Now I'm going to find the exit. Nice some more painkillers. There we go. And, uh, up, up we go. Alright, so here's the final part of the level. Um, with our gun, it's going to be laughably easy. <laughs> Without it, it's goddamn near impossible, which is why I'm re-recording this. So let's go. Out here, huh? And what about your wife, Danny? Do you remember what you did to her? Oh, fuck it you, wasn't Leo. your fault, Danny. I don't blame you. <laughs> Seriously? Lay me to rest and be free. Um, I have to lay her to rest to be free of you, Leo. Yeah, that's just what she said. Um, what was I saying? 
Oh, right. Um. Find me, Danny. So, I gotta, uh. Die. I gotta bring her over here. Oh, God. Die, you motherfuckers, die. Yeah. Without, Come to me. without the gun, it's goddamn near impossible. Go. Um. Yeah, so we gotta drag her over here. And, uh, say hello to my little friend. So, uh, I got a question. Uh oh, shit. Come to me. Um, do you guys like. Do you guys like, uh, The Godfather better? Or do you like, um, Scarface better? Huh? I think I like The Godfather better. I think I just like, uh, I like the gangster characters better than The Godfather. Been reading the book lately, it's pretty good. Um,. Oh, sorry. I thought I heard something. Find my resting place. Okay, all right. I'm working on it, honey. Come on. Stop nagging me. Um, but I notice a lot of young kids my age seem to like, uh, you know, Scarface better. I think it's just because, uh, you know, Scar Scarface is the one who's on all the T-shirts and stuff like that. You know. Uh, although I think. Uh, I think the Don Corleone has some t-shirts too, right? Find my resting place. I don't know. I just think the Godfather's better, personally. Um, I don't think she's quite buried yet, dude. <laughs> I think you gotta keep you at think it. it's that easy to get rid of me? I made you. Yeah, fuck you, Leo. I could be you, but I have a choice. A choice! And I choose to be me! <laughs> The fuck wants to be Daniel? Man. I do! I do! You hear me? <laughs> you see? <laughs> can't get rid of me. Can never. Oh, he's got a hard hit. Yeah, give him another smack. My name is Daniel Lamb. My name is Daniel Lamb! Yeah, D Lamb, motherfucker. Don't fuck with me. My name is... I don't know my name. <laughs> wow, they left him on a fucking road, huh? What if he got run over? Seriously, come on. Your name is David Joyner. David Joyner. You live downtown at the following address. You'll find everything you need there. Good luck. 526 Hope Street. Apartment B. Oh, he lives on Hope Street, huh? Well, that's nice. That means things are looking up, right? Uh, where is downtown? What the fuck? <laughs> they seriously expect him to walk all that way. That's kind of a... That's kind of a... A douchebag move, huh? Oh, well. Let's hope he doesn't... Oh, I don't know. He'll become a serial killer again, right? Okay, so <laughs> that's it. That's Manhunt 2. Um, yeah. Not a very satisfying ending, huh? That's, at least that's what I felt. I, uh, I wasted a whole weekend playing this game the first time around. I neglected my homework. I showed up Monday with nothing to show for it. Class laughed at me. But uh, was it worth it? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Definitely wasn't worth 40 bucks. Oh, and we get to see Daniel himself actually doing what he did to Pikmin rather than Leo. That's kind of cool. Um, what else is there to say, really? Okay, so there is one more stage uh, coming up after this. This is the last one. There's a bonus stage. It provides an alternate ending. Uh, I gotta say, um... 
doing this game was a thing. I think at first I kind of uh, I was a little worried that maybe I, I wouldn't have enough uh, enough to do, enough to talk about. And I think to a certain extent my fears were kind of realized, especially the last stage. No, I mean, well, not not the last stage, uh, the last stage you've seen, because I'm actually recording three of these things at once, and I'm going to be releasing them over the next ten days or so. And, uh, so I guess my next project is going to be Hitman Absolution. You know, the, the one I did before this was Hitman Blood Money. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, I think for Absolution, I'm going to try to make things a little more structured. I mean, usually with my commentary, I uh, kind of speak off the cuff, which uh, is good sometimes, but, you know, other times it can be kind of detrimental to the video, I think. Uh, yeah, so, you know, keep an eye out for that uh, in May, probably mid-May. You know, I, I, uh, I don't really have much to do with my time, so... Don't expect to wait too long for that to come up. Um, oh, huh, that's weird. What? When was this? They must. This must have been when he first got put there, right? Yeah, probably. That's interesting. Or maybe it's something just coming up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, it's fucking spoilers, man. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll be seeing that next, actually. I don't know how long these credits go on for. Huh. Yeah. Oh, actually, I guess this is the end. Oh, 2007. Rockstar Games Production. And that's it. Okay. This was Let's Play Manhunt 2. I'm Nixmeister. I'll see you next time.